Hold it down. Are you ready to pray this prayer? Are you ready to pray this prayer? Yes, sir. Hear this story. Hear this. Our prayer point will be a mysterious prayer. Somebody say mysterious prayer. A mysterious prayer. You need God to give you a mysterious answer. Amen. Touch your neighbor. Say a mysterious answer. A mysterious answer. It's what the Lord shall give to me. It's what the Lord shall give to me. If you're watching me from anywhere, I want you to get connected and say mysterious answer. Hear this. There is a man. This man with other men was in a boat. Suddenly at the middle of the sea, the boat began to sink. That everybody in that boat died and he was the only one surviving. How did this man survive? He saw a floating object. He held on to that floating object. And that object carried him to a very deserted place. No human being. He only sees trees and insects. Insects. And this man, no boat comes to that area. And this man lived there for so many days. He now started eating fruits. Anything he sees that grows from there, that's his food. He saw his life as an ended life. And this man stood there for so many days. How does he survive in the night? He will put up uh, fire. And you know, be using it because there is a lot of coal. And one night, something mysterious happened. Tell your neighbor, something mysterious will happen to you. One night, he made that the same thing. And what was that the same thing? He, under the same small light, where he normally used to scare away cold. Suddenly, when he was there, the man dozed off and slept off. Suddenly, in that the same midnight, the man began to feel so much heat. The heat was so much. He rose up. And as he rose up, he discovered that the small hut that he built where he slept was on fire. The man started crying. When he was crying, he started abusing God. This one of mine living his life. Nothing is happening. Including the small hut where I put my head and sleep is on fire. As he was cursing God, cursing God, cursing God. Some hours went by. Suddenly the man saw a boat was coming. For how many days and months he was there, nothing was coming through that area. When he saw the boat, when the boat arrived, he asked the, uh, uh, the man that brought the boat, how did you come? And what brought you this side? Nothing like boat has ever passed here since I've been here. The man said to him, we were passing from far. We saw a mighty fire. That was burning in the night and we started dressing because we thought it was another boat that was burning this man was crying that his heart was born but god was answering his prayer mysteriously to bring people that can rescue him the condition you are you thought you are crying god is about to give you something mysterious that will answer your prayer if you believe it, jump up on your feet and shout amen like a thunder. Brother Alabusha. When the man entered the boat, he started crying. He said, God, forgive me. Because he has cursed God. He has abused God. God, how come my small heart is born? He never knew that the Holy Ghost came and got the heart born to signify a rescuer that we come to rescue him. The situation you are now is what you think that nothing good can come out of it. The situation you are now is what says that there is no solution. But I prophesy to you, a mysterious answer shall come to you. You didn't hear me. A mysterious answer shall come to you. A mysterious answer will come to you. A mysterious answer will come to you. If you believe in sound, amen like a thunder.